The tipping point for personal noise cancellation came, as it so often does, from a moment of personal frustration. The year was 1978. Dr. Amar Bose, a professor of electrical engineering at MIT and the founder of the Bose Corporation, was on a flight from Zurich to Boston. The airline had just introduced new electronic headphones for in-flight audio. Dr. Bose was excited to try them, but as soon as he put them on, he was disappointed. The roar of the jet engines overwhelmed the music. The experience was terrible. On that long flight, instead of listening to music, Dr. Bose started sketching equations on a napkin. He was not trying to build a better headphone. He was trying to solve the problem of airplane noise. He returned to his company's headquarters in Massachusetts and launched a research program. The goal was to build a headset that could create a bubble of quiet in the loudest of environments. The engineering hurdles were enormous. How do you create a system that can cancel a wide range of frequencies, from the low rumble of an engine to the higher-pitched whoosh of the air? How do you make it work consistently for every person, regardless of their head shape or how they wear the headphones? The team at Bose worked for years. They built prototype after prototype. Early models were clunky and required a large power pack. They faced countless setbacks. The mathematics was complex. The electronics had to be miniaturized. The acoustics of the ear cup itself had to be perfected to create a good seal. It was a slow, methodical process of trial and error. This was not a quick invention. It was a sustained, focused effort driven by a clear vision.